Hi, this is Allison hanging out in my space to craft. And I, um, I, I decided I was gonna watch TV while I did this page. Um, the whole page comes together in a single video, so I've simply just sped it up and I'll talk you through the process. It's sped up at three times. So, and right away my page, my camera gets nudged. That's super awesome but you'll still be able to see most of, of what happens. So this is the page, one of the page kits that I put together for my rodeo series. And um, I think when I put that page kit together, I had realized that um, since the collage paper was so busy that I would frame it with this other paper with the, with the sort of teal border on it to tone it you know bring it in a little and then I had the striped paper that was a scrap that I added um, so the page kit itself was relatively complete I think um, I have added a, a teal um, photo mat um, from my stash that is um, the perfect color for that teal border so I'm matting in um, a vanilla and then double matting one of them one of the elephant photos so there's really um, there's sorry there's two airplane photos and then there's an elephant photo so here I and pulled it off and decided I was gonna tuck a photo in to that little elephant that's on the paper. Well, apparently I need, I, I cannot find my um, utility knife. So I pulled out this one from my Cricut and it's a, it's a square blade. Um, it didn't work very well and I think it's damaged. So I just need to toss it because it did not work. Um, I end up taking my scissors to the paper. It doesn't work perfectly, but it works okay. But I definitely need to find a new utility knife. If you have a recommendation for a, a good, you know, small utility knife for using on paper crafting, please post it below um, so I can go get it. Um, I did have one, it just must be, I don't know, in a hidden somewhere. I haven't found it to add to my little tool caddy that I keep on my desk. So I do have these very small paper snip scissors that I'm using. So that, it works okay. And since the underside's not gonna be seen, that's where I sort of went into it. Um, but a utility knife would have been easier. So I'm just cutting around the trunk. Here I'm, you know, trying to repair that paper a little bit. Cutting around the trunk so that it can just overlap the photo a bit. I'm gonna do a little bit more so I can go in a little bit deeper. I've done this several times on base papers and I really like the effect of it. It's a way to turn part of the paper into ephemera, essentially. Um, so, in kites, everything. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna tuck this picture of her riding the elephant in for the bottom of the page. And I think that's a really cute effect. I did this once for like a branch with a bird sitting on it on a one of my um, calendar pages for, it was a December calendar page. And I just, yeah, I like the effect when I decide to do it. 
And you guys, I apologize for this camera being out of whack and not getting the whole page in view. My table is pretty long and so the camera has to sit right to my left um, on a, it's clamped to the table, but it, it can get knocked. It sits over me and the, the table is too deep for it to come from the back where it wouldn't get knocked as much. So I need, I need a longer um, mechanism, but the decent ones are hard to come by. This is the second one I've had. So I'm using this striped paper to sort of separate the two, um, the two sections of the page. Um, just to, again, to, to break up that really busy pattern a bit. And I'm going to sit it inside that frame. And then this paper kit came with some really fancy border strips. And so I'm using one of them. Um, they're all, you know, pretty fancy or frilly and stuff like that. So I'm going to use that to border the bottom. So it's just contributing to that carnival flared look. And then I think I have two, oh, maybe I just, I, I had two photos in that airplane, but I decided just to use one, um, the cutest one, because I don't need two pictures of her sitting in a little airplane ride. So here I'm trying to decide, these are some, these were brand new from, um, I think Pink Fresh Studios. And, um, and it's from a travel collection that they had, but the dark teal in it looks, it pops off the paper and it almost exactly matches that border again. So that's what I'm going to go with. And I decide I'm going to use the phrase ticket to ride. Um, for this. I'm looking at, is there, is there something else? I mean, so trying to find the right title and I'm just, I'm going to use Ticket to Ride. And I think I had, uh, may have already pulled some ephemera to go with this kit as well. That were some tickets and things like that. So it totally ties in. So I have these um, tickets from Chamel, uh, main character energy. So I'm thinking about, do I want to make those? I end up cutting them apart and spreading them around the page um, to be part of my little uh, various ephemera uh, clusters. So I'm looking to see, do I want something else? Do I want to do different letters? like ticket to and ride in different letters. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing really worked, um, looked as good. So um, I did try a bunch of stuff. I've cut that out because there was some, some waiting time while I went and dug through things. So I'm just gonna commit to the ticket to ride all in this teal. And then it's just a matter of where do I want it all to sit? And I'm putting it on wax paper so that I can move it around, sort of get a feel for the spacing on the paper. 
rather than wearing out all the sticky <laughs> on the paper or risk tearing. So you can see I've now cut apart those Chamel tickets as well. And I don't worry about it, about using a, a ruler or anything here, I don't think, because of the, the stripes on that paper. It made it easy, pretty easy to line things up. So she did this, I was not, I don't think I was with her when she did the rides. I think she did that with my parents because um, at the rodeo um, in this time frame, NASA always had a big booth in their um, display area and I would volunteer to man that booth one day so this is some vellum that I had pulled um, that I thought matched and looked really good. And by putting the ticket on top, that gave me a, a spot to use my adhesive. So I also, I think this was in February. I'm not sure. I need to go back and check. This may end up coming off if it didn't happen in February. <laughs> um, but it did come with this kit, actually, those little cards. Um, And then I just have some wordy bits. Some of them are also from Chamel. So I have Chamel tickets and then this all, several of these vellum hearts and sort of splatters. So each little area is going to get a ticket. And then I have all this vellum and then several different wordy bits. I'm just trimming up the tickets because when I, I I didn't realize that the you could pull out the little the little nubs that were in there. So look at me layering. <laughs> not, I am pretty proud of this page, you guys. I thought it came out super cute. It's got layers. I used a ton of different, um, some really, I would say, challenging um, pattern paper, and I just love the way it came out. I, I kind of, let's say, followed the rules. So I'm just looking for places to tuck that vellum because it, it adds a nice touch and um, without, you know, it's a little bit see-through, so it's a little like the collage paper and yeah, super pleased with this. So we're almost finished, just these last, um, last few touches. And I think I also add some um, enamel dots there at the end, pretty sure. I really hope this was in February so I can keep that, <laughs> not have to remove it or cover it up. I need to go back and check my calendar. And I have these same, I've been using these on a lot of pages because I, I really want to use them up. They're these um, yellow, pretty bright um, mustard yellow enamel dots. 
but they're not in a package. And so I keep always worry about them, um, you know, getting snagged on something when I put them where I keep my enamel dots. So I'm really trying to use them up. But it's a single color on those sheets, so. All right, here you get your, your view of the dimension. So please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.